Welcome back to Tomb Raider Polls, where I always showcase the results of polls that you guys in the community voted on. This week's poll was about your favorite boss or sub-boss fight in the series. Unfortunately, due to the plethora of voting options, I had to narrow this list down to only the top 5 picks, as a ton of boss fights ended up with only 1 or 2 votes, so subsequently a dozen options would have shared the same place. Now without further ado, here are your top 5 boss fights in the Tomb Raider series. Two bosses share the fifth place. Brother Obscura from Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, and The Oni Stalker from Tomb Raider 2013. The ghost of Brother Obscura, a medieval monk and leader of the Lux Veritatis, the religious order that plays a big role in Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness, is encountered by Lara deep beneath the Louvre at the end of the level Hall of Seasons. The wrathful spirit protects Lara's object of desire, an Obscura painting that the monk and artist had designed during his lifetime to cover up the evil and demonic imagery beneath it that his nemesis, the black alchemist Peter von Eckhart, had originally created. Being a ghost, Brother Obscura cannot be hurt or even killed, at least not using firearms, and the player has to avoid his attacks by dodging them. However, the easiest way to defeat the boss is to simply remain in a crouching position throughout the entirety of the battle, because this way the ghost's incoming attacks will always miss Lara. As Lara can't destroy the spirit, she has to outsmart it by stunning it with a good amount of gunshots, which will temporarily cause it to be unable to move. The player then has to find one of the statues surrounding Brother Obscura's tomb, which currently holds the Obscura painting, as it switches positions. This is not an easy task, because the player has to be extremely quick, since the ghost won't remain in his stunned stance for long. As it is both a cleverly designed concept, and a unique boss battle, or rather, boss avoidance, Brother Obscura ranked 5th. The second boss fight on the 5th place is the Oni Stalker, or Stormguard Stalker, from Tomb Raider 2013. This giant demon-like brood that could be seen and was hinted at multiple times throughout the second half of the game is finally encountered by Lara at the end of the last chapter, on top of the Mountain Cigarette. Lara must fight off this ogre-like samurai warrior that has served under Sun Queen Himiko's rule for centuries in order to progress. In this final boss fight, the player has to target the enemy's weak points. In order to hit them, the player has to dodge incoming attacks for the Oni to expose them. When hit enough, a quick time event has to be performed to further weaken him and reveal more and more weak points. This has to be repeated four times and is being made more difficult as the fight progresses because additional regular samurai warriors keep spawning, crowding up the relatively small space in which the battle takes place. In the final quick time event, Lara brutally finishes the giant off by repeatedly stabbing him in the neck with her climbing axe, which also grants her 100 experience points, just like in real life, I guess. Boss number 4, the T-Rex from Tomb Raider 1. Arguably one of the most iconic moments in the history of the franchise, and certainly one that everyone associates Tomb Raider with, is Lara's encounter with a very live and very angry Tyrannosaurus Rex in the level Lost Valley. Lara runs into this fear-inducing creature as it makes its way around the corner, immediately startling every player with its sheer size and ferocity. The player has no choice but to shoot at the giant dinosaur until it drops dead, with a very limited weapon selection available at the start of the game, namely, only pistols, unless the shotgun has previously been picked up. The way the encounter is seamlessly integrated into gameplay and the level design, and the introduction of the T-Rex as just another regular enemy, makes it even more memorable, and it set the mark for what was to come, as much as it helped shape Lara's image as an insanely badass adventurer, whom even a dinosaur stands no chance against. Boss number 3. Sophia Lee from Tomb Raider 3. The ruthless rich business lady Sophia Lee, who is in possession of an unknown power, is a big threat to the adventurer, as she chases her across the rooftops of her headquarters. Sophia is another boss that cannot be hurt through regular means, aka Lara's arsenal of firearms she always carries around with her, and instead the player has to avoid her energy blast attacks while traversing a platforming section until the top of the tower with its helipad has been reached. There, the player has to shoot open a junction box, electrocuting Sophia in the process, before Lara can pick up the meteorite piece she came for. 
by far one of the most ridiculous, but also fun and challenging, as well as rewarding boss encounters, Sophia Lee is a common fan favorite and deserves her spot on the pedestal. Two bosses share the second place, the Centaur bosses from Tomb Raider Anniversary and the Torso from Tomb Raider 1. These two big bad horses are encountered by Lara in the remake of the original game in the level Tomb of Tihokin, where they guard, you guessed it, the Tomb of Tihokin. No wonder no one has ever raided this tomb before, as the strategy to defeat the centaur bosses requires the player to use Lara's grappling hook to pull the shields out of their hands whenever they have been stunned after completing a quick time event. And what kind of tomb raider has ever brought a grappling hook with them? After pulling away their shields, the player has to aggravate each centaur enough for their adrenaline meter to be filled, after which they will perform their outlandish laser beam attack. However, this time Lara can pick up the shields and use them to reflect the beam right back at them, turning them into stone. The centaur bosses make up one of the most unique boss fights in the game, with a clever strategy that has to be used to defeat them, earning them one of the number two spots on this list. The second boss on the second place is the infamous Torso. This legless monstrosity, also known as Legless Mutant, Abomination, or as it was named in a Japanese guidebook, Adam in capital letters, is the second to final boss in the first Tomb Raider. The mutant is encountered on the top floor of the Atlantean Pyramid level at the end of the game. The fight itself is pretty straightforward. The player has to keep emptying their guns into the creature while trying not to fall into the fiery pits of hell below. After pumping the beast full of bullets, preferably using the Uzis, and not letting its bony fingers grab her, Lara kills the beast. Before it dies, however, it strikes a dramatic Shakespearean pose and proceeds to explode into a hundred fleshy pieces. Relatable. Boss number one, Dragon Bartoli from Tomb Raider 2. Yet another giant scaly lizard-like creature makes the list. However, a less natural one than the T-Rex perhaps. This dragon used to be Marco Bartoli, an Italian cult leader and Lara's enemy in the second game, who, just like her, set out to find the mythical dagger of Xion to turn himself into what Lara has to fight at the end of the game. While his motives for doing so may range from world domination to achieving his lifelong dream of turning into his dragon persona, Dragon Bartoli is a fearsome enemy nevertheless. The boss battle takes place in a grand shade hall, and just like with the torso, this boss can be taken out by simply firing at it until it dies. Easier said than done, however, as Lara can be stomped to death or set on fire by the creature. If the latter happens, the player has to put her out by jumping into the pool in the center of the hall, which is also littered with health and ammunition pickups. The dragon boss fight is unique, memorable and challenging, and an epic culmination of Lara's second adventure and definitely deserves its number one spot on this list. And that rounds up this week's Tomb Raider polls episode. Thank you all for voting and watching the video. To see the results of this poll and to vote on the next one, check out the video description below. I usually upload a new Tomb Raider polls video every other Saturday if I get around to. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you want to see more Tomb Raider related content, feel free to subscribe. Until then, see you around.